Well, have you seen Game of Thrones? I mean, <laughs> I, terrifying, ter like truly terrifying. And you know, you get a lot of Hi, Shana. Hi, Effie. Thank you so Hi. much for your time. Nice yeah. to meet you both. A pleasure to talk to you. And I'm going to start with you, Shana. What was like the inspiration for the script? Because we talk about blood, we talk about woman's period. So yeah. Yeah. how was that? Well, I think I needed to find ways to make this film personal, first and foremost, for me, because I, I, I need a personal connection. And I think my own period shame was one of those connections. You know, I remember writing it and, and writing, you know, then she throws a tampon and I'm like, oh my gosh, is this too far? And doubting myself. And I remember even showing it to my husband and he was like, I don't know if you'll be able to shoot that. And then I'm like, but why? Why? Why would I not be able to shoot that? And in the end, I got to create a character that was incredibly empowered by her period. Her, in fact, her period saves her life. And I really just wanted, I hope that our future generation of women can get out of those horrible habits that we had of like whispering the word tampon or, you know, hiding their pad or, you know, not going home with someone because they're on their period or not going out dancing because they're on their period. You know, just all those silly things that you can't believe are actually true and really embracing it and showing it and demystifying it because it's a, it's a very normal experience for half of our population. Yes, and 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 I agree with you, and I'm a hundred percent with you. We don't need to be ashamed to talk about, even though like I have a boy, and yeah. we talk about, and he yeah. knows that I have a period every month. So yeah. that's yeah. normal, right? Yes, yes, so that's yes. amazing. Yes. Yeah, yes. So I'm gonna go to you, Alfie. Like you producing this this movie, what was like the most challenge part? Was like to find the perfect actress, or was like something else? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I have to tell you, there wasn't, for me personally, there wasn't anything that was truly challenging. It was really exciting. And we were really, I was really excited to be able to join the team and to be able to sort of amplify and augment the story in a really meaningful way with the team. So I was always really, you know, I'm always really into it because I'm a horror head. I love horror. I love it. I think that it's a way for us to talk about things that are going on in real life um, and being able to sort of make it narrative, but also accessible to people that normally might not be accessible to. So I was really, you know, excited for it. I think that probably in the bit of time that we were shooting, shooting nights all the time was a challenge because I'm a morning person. So that was something, right? But Sean, I think I'm probably I think also more, right? Yeah, I think creating the perfect writer's room was a challenge because well, yeah, I mean, that, I mean, we, yeah, we were having kind of an embarrassment of riches, right? We had yeah. incredibly talented black writers that we were creating this writer's room with. I think that was one of the challenges was even selecting the, they were all so good. We got some amazing samples and then working together and what we thought might be a complicated process was really yeah. rewarding and incredible was, and that's a, that's exciting right yeah it was very talking over it, but like that's the high five of like that's on because i think when people are talking and for me sorry can you tell that we like get along like a house on fire like can you tell right <laughs> but just sort of going on and just being like like challenging it wasn't daunting it was mm -hmm. actually nice mm -hmm. to have this and like and it's very rare that this happens and everything worked out i think for the best and everyone still loves each other and talks to each other and wants to work again yeah, yeah. each other that's, so yeah that's amazing i spoke to ella and i i congratulate her on her performance because it's not just physically but emotionally we can i can feel her pain like some of the uh, moments yeah. how was like for you shana work with ella and find her and She's perfect for the role, right? <laughs> she really is perfect for the role. And it's always hard because it's your first instinct as a director is to protect your actors. But what I was asking her to do was incredibly painful. And I was putting her in such uncomfortable positions. And I was just hoping that she had the ability to turn it off at night, you know, mm -hmm. because those if you carry that with you through the shoot that trauma you know you're a shell of a person at the end and she is that smart and she is that talented and she did have that toolbox to be able to let in self-care and to be able to turn off that character because what we were doing was it was triggering for 
everybody watching it, you know, because it felt so real. It felt yeah. so real. Yeah, it was really good. I'm so glad that everybody's going to be able to, to watch it now. And and also, I need to talk about Pillow because he was really, really yeah. charming in the beginning. And then suddenly he becomes something else. How What was about him and his previous work that made you guys pick him to play Ethan? Well, have you seen Game of Thrones? I mean, right. <laughs> I had terrifying terror like truly terrifying and you know you get a lot of kind of young boys in Hollywood that like pretend to be scary and you're like I'm not scared of you at all there is no it is not deep waters to hear but he was he channeled something inside him when I remember when he yelled in that jail scene like shut up or something like my blood went cold like we all just kind of like there was a tension on the whole set when he was shooting that scene. And he's such a commanding presence. But like you said, he can also be the most charming kind of he made himself incredibly small. And we, we actually talked a lot about Hugh Grant, you know, in the beginning of the movie. Like, how does he come off as not a threat at all? Hugh Grant is not a threat. And so he watched a lot of like Hugh Grant movies to kind of find out, like even the physicality of how to hold his body to be like, oh, come in or don't. Don't worry about it. Whatever you want to do, you know, that's amazing. I just want to, you know, that's the time that I have with you both. I just want to thank you so much for your time. A lot of success, and I hope everybody loved it, the movie, like I did. I really enjoy it. Thank you so Thank much. You, excellent. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.